Hello fellow knowledgers. Today we are going to talk about colors. Have you ever wondered why do we see things in different colors? What makes an apple look green, yellow or red? Ha! <laughs> of course it is the dye on its surface. Brilliant! But how does a dye work? It's chemistry and stuff, right? Colors are just the products from the interaction of light with the molecules a dye is made of. Together, they make colors. Let's talk first about light. Light is just another form of energy. It consists of really tiny particles oscillating at a certain range of frequencies. The human eye is capable of detecting only the frequencies between 400 and 790 terahertz. Wave motions with frequencies lower or upper this range are just invisible to our eyes. That's why scientists call this range the visible light because there are invisible lights. The range of visible light is subdivided into seven bands of frequencies, making the seven colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And it is as simple as this. The color of a wave motion is decided by its frequency. How come then I don't see white among us? these bands because white light is just the effect of combining the entire visible colors in suitable proportions and this is proved by the famous present experiment in which light is scattered into its primary components back to the molecules which are the building blocks of our universe basically a molecule is a structure of several atoms surrounded by clouds of electrons a part of these electronic clouds is called the chromophore, and this is the part of the molecule responsible for its color. And since substances are divided into organic and inorganic ones, organic chromophores would be the dense mobile clouds of electrons, resonating on several atoms, making what chemists call conjugation, which is a very important factor controlling the energy of organic molecules. It's not the only factor, but it is a really important one. While inorganic chromophores are some geometrical formations of electronic clouds surrounding metal atoms, the geometry of these formations governs the energy of inorganic molecules. Electronic cloud, chromophore, conjugation. <coughs> Could you repeat that in English? Simply. The energy of a molecule determines its color. So, when light falls on molecules with low energy content, the highly energetic portion of light, which is bluish, just dissolves in the wave motions of electrons, oscillating with lower frequencies, and only the reddish portion of light is reflected to our eyes. Consequently, molecules with high energy content reflect only the bluish portions of visible light. Precisely! In a nutshell, Light falls on an object. The object absorbs a part of it and reflects the rest of it. And we see the object colored in the colors it reflects. This does explain why the moon looks so white. Because it reflects all the sunlight falling on it and absorbs nothing at all. So does this glass of milk. I guess this also means that objects which absorb all the light falling on them and reflects nothing appear black. Now you do understand how colors work. I hope this was useful and I'm open for further questions. So this is the first of hopefully a series of videos investigating the science behind everyday life activities. If you have a question about the scientific explanation of any phenomena, please feel perfectly welcome to share it and we will seek an answer to it together. Peace.